This time I'm going to explain something really important when it comes to dimensions. I'm very sure that you are familiar that the units used in this project are in millimeters as we set it up um, in the beginning of this project or this course in general. So let's go ahead and zoom in this area right here for example or you can choose any area. Um, as I type units, press enter, I get this dialog box which is familiar to you for sure. Um, if you see it's a decimal millimeter type of units so let's go ahead and um, change the units just for a trial but be careful with this you have to return it back to how it was which is decimal and sh this should be millimeters as well this is just for trying to show you um, what it does and you have to be very careful with it when I change it to engineering and hit OK it gives me this warning message it says for use with architectural or engineering linear units insert units should be set to inches so as I hit OK, it's going to assume that all these numbers that I use as dimensions or any object I insert it is going to be in inches. And every block or any object that I insert into this whole project, onto this whole file, is going to be in inches. When working with AutoCAD, um, it doesn't show you the type of unit that you are working with, so you have to be very careful when you're using uh, the dimension or drawing any object in general you have to be always careful when it comes to units and I am going to change it back to decimal you see uh, this makes sure it's decimal or everything's gonna change I will show you another mistake that um, people do it without any consideration so on the annotate on the dimensions tab um, this is the dimension that we are using if you modify it and go to primary units change the decimal to engineering and hit ok you see all these dimensions changed and it's not correct be careful why because um let me just put it back to how it was no nope. okay so let's just work on this side right here um, do it again just how it was modify and change it to engineering hit ok as I hit close you see it changed it into this much foot and inch which is impossible let's go ahead and try to change the millimeter to inch it was 35 32 it makes 11 foot and this much and a half uh, I don't know I'm not really familiar with the inches in the foot but it's impossible and this is not correct so you have to be very careful so you can undo that and hit save just to make sure you have everything set as it is after learning about the scale, let's go ahead and edit our uh, dimension. If I click on any dimension and you see this uh, small square, you can change it and uh, change its location. And also it will change its um, value. So because it's associative, it's very helpful if I changed any object, any uh, any um, anything I changed it it will change with it easily or let's go ahead and click control and Z on my keyboard it took it back to how it was or I can change uh, the location of my arrow I'm not gonna change its um, alignment with the other but I want to change the text just like that after selecting the dimension you see this box right here I change its location maybe I want to add something else or maybe I just want to move the text into somewhere else so when I put my cursor on that grip it will show this uh, list of options that I can use so I'm gonna move the text only 
you see how I can move it to different places but it will be unprofessional to put it right here because you can tell that this number is related to that dimension line so uh, as we learned this let's go ahead and put it back to how it was and let's try something different now let's try to enter or insert a text with this dimension number so as I selected this dimension and I'm gonna right click go to oppor do properties not opportunities um, it gives me this dialog um, I'm very sure you're familiar with this as well we used it before if I scroll down or take this bar right down you see this um, where it's related to text text override this is where we're gonna insert our text let's go ahead and maybe say it's a door dimension and press enter it gave it all that text you see it changed the number into a text but on the measurement right above the text override it gives me the actual measurement it's 35 31.75 not um, 3532 uh, which is very cool you can actually see the actual dimension but it changed it it changed the text um, and it got rid of the number if I put my cursor right here pay very close attention if I put greater than or less than where is it okay and space bar and then hit enter you see it gives me the number and the text that I inserted you have to always remember this greater than and smaller than if you want to add little explanation next to the dimension